So another way of analyzing a model is through a wireframe. Oftentimes, uh, you can understand surface or you can at least understand the character of the vehicle by relating the lines. Let's say this, this uh, rail here, this top of the, the roof line here, relating that to maybe this line and relating that to that line and all the other lines in the vehicle. <clears throat> and so if you're using alias, generally you're going to you're going to do that with, you know, alias curves or NURBS curves. Well, we can't do that inside of ZBrush, but we can still compare those lines. And the way that I do that is I draw on a mask for each one of those character lines. I just trace that with masking, and then I hide everything but those masked lines. And what I get is a pseudo wireframe. And then I can judge and relate and move those lines in relationship to each other and then come back and adjust the surfaces accordingly. So let me show you. What I do is, I'm just going to mask this curve here. I'm going to mask this curve right here. All the main, all the main curves, I'm going to mask. Some of them are so close together that I end up masking two curves at once, or it's, it, it doesn't, it's not divided. Like I'm going to try to come around here and do this for this curve. Like that, and then come in and do this. Let's come around here. And one reason I'm doing this is because I see something that is not really relating and I want to adjust it. But I'm just going to show you the whole thing. All of my curves that are going on. I think most, mostly everything is working together. But there are a few things that are not. And uh, I want to correct those. Now, by the way, you don't have to, if you were actually, I'm showing, I'm showing you the concept, but if you weren't actually adjusting all of the lines at once, you don't have to actually draw out all of the lines like I'm drawing here. You could draw some of the lines, only the ones that you're going to adjust. So, as you know, this one was created with, like, a, there's a cone here, there's a cone here. So, so I got all of these all of these um, lines traced on and traced. And what I can do, and what I'm going to do here is actually now create a polygroup. And I can create a polygroup by going to polygroup here and send auto, not auto group, but um, group mask that will create a polygroup. But what I generally do is use my hotkey, and that is Control W. And so what I've done was, if I show you the frame, what I've done was create a polygroup for those sections, as you can see here, all polygroup. So what that allows me to do, obviously, is click. And now I've just got the frame. If I turn this on, and I come back and do a do a display double-sided display properties double-sided you can see that I've got the frame for the whole vehicle and by the way if you change this to OBJ you can take this frame and then uh, copy that those lines and follow those lines inside of alias to get you to kick off your wireframe inside of alias is that if that's what you're going to do so with that, now I'm going to show you what I would do to adjust lines. Now I see an obvious problem here. I see uh, this line and this line are not related. So if I, if I go directly in side view, you can see that this line right here doesn't relate to that line here. Let me show you, let's see if I can show you. Yeah, this line here doesn't really relate to that line in side view. 
So how I adjust that is simply mask, mask the lines that I don't want to move. And the best, usually the best way of doing that is mask the line that you want to move here and then flip it. And so everything else is unmasked. I'm going to control H it to hide the mask. And with that, so what I can do is now with my move brush, I can simply come in and adjust, adjust that line to relate to that outer line. I didn't want to change the outer line because I thought the outer line was okay. So with that, I'm going to mask everything and I'm going to bring back by press control shifting and clicking in the screen and you can see that everything is brought back. Then I can hide my mask here and then I'll just smooth this, come in and smooth it and that'll suck that down right to that, that um, mask area. So I'll have to do a little bit of adjustments, but you get the point. There's other areas I can adjust, but generally now that line, I do have still some funnies here, right here in that area, but I'm saying that in general, this line is related to that line in the inside, which was my main thing, my main reason for adjusting. So that's how you would, um, that's how you would adjust and, um, Create a wireframe, if you will, and adjust those inside of ZBrush.